Hello everyone, and welcome back to Potty Planet Entertainment. My name is Chris, and in case you don't know, I review movies, and I rank them on a scale of 0 to 100 in increments of 5. Today, we are going to be talking about possibly my worst movie theater experience of all time, Crimes of the Future. So I just got out of this movie tonight. Um, and this was horrible. I hated this movie. Now look, David Cronenberg is a filmmaker that I respect. I like The Fly, but this horrid abomination it took every ounce of my being to not walk out of this movie. I only stayed for you. So, you're welcome. And I saw this movie so that you don't have to. Don't go see this movie. Or do. It's up to you. I support original filmmaking, I do. And if you're going to go see it just to support original filmmaking and support something other than a Marvel movie, I think that's fantastic. That's why I went to see it. Because I like David Cronenberg. I wanted to support him. I, I was in the movie theater before this movie started rooting for him. Like, yes, a good filmmaker making something original that he wrote himself. I was like, yes. I'm here for this. I'm here to support this. I want to spend money on this. I want to see this movie. I want to, to review this and give it a great review and recommend it to people and have other people go see it so we can all support this man and his original filmmaking. I was for this. And I, I just, I, I, I just, I, I, I wanted... To die. I, I, I just, I can't believe how much I hated this. This, oh man, this was like, this is like the worst movie I've seen since The Last Airbender. I, I just can't believe how horrible this was. This is a terrible Terrible, no good, awful movie. But Crimes of the Future stars Viggo Mortensen, Leah Soido, Kristen Stewart, and Don McKellar. And it was directed, of course, by David Cronenberg. And this movie, I'm going to try my best to give you this plot. I'm going to try. I'm probably not going to do a very good job, but I'm going to try. This movie takes place in a futuristic society where people don't have pain receptors. They don't have natural organs. We just sort of are different. And like this Javigo Mortensen plays a dude who like has himself opened and has his organs removed for a show. And somehow this sort of leads into like this conspiracy and this plot and it's a movie. I, I, I told you I wouldn't do a good job, but I tried. And the reason why I couldn't explain this movie to you is because honestly, I have no idea what this movie was about. I, I, I didn't follow this at all. But before I, I actually get into the nitty gritty about why I didn't like this movie... I do have a few good things to say about it. For one thing, the makeup was very good. Very, very good. And the special effects were fantastic. There's really good practical effects in this movie. There's really good CGI work, and it all looks stupendous. Uh, the set designs are really good. The props are really cool. There's these cool, like, skeleton chairs that, like, move you when you eat to help you digest, and they look pretty cool. Um, the lighting in this movie, this movie is constantly dark. There isn't one scene in this movie that's, like, that's bright. And, like, they get the lighting contrast on these actors' faces right. They do a really good job with this. And there's not much music here, 
but the music is very subtle, but it is pretty good. So I'll give them that. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm done praising this movie now. Uh, <coughs> oh. Oh. All right. Let's get into the cons. So for one thing, the audio isn't that good. A lot of times I had a hard time understanding what people were saying. It was just sort of like a lot of heavy breathing. Uh, the plot was way too convoluted. It was very hard to follow. When the movie was over, I still had no idea what the movie was about. I haven't had an experience like that since I saw Tenet. And I actually loved Tenet. I sort of followed Tenet. Um... I understand the movie better now than I did the first time, but I like that movie so much, I went to go see it three times. And it's the only movie I've ever gone to see in theaters three times because I wanted to support Tenet. Um, yeah, I didn't follow it very well, but it was just such a well-made movie that I, that, didn't, that didn't really matter to me as much. But here, this is... I just... I literally didn't have the slightest clue what this movie was about. I had no idea what this movie was about. I still have no idea what this movie is about. And quite frankly, I don't care. There's way too much exposition. This movie is pretty much nothing but exposition. It's really boring. This is one of the most boring, tedious things ever. Okay, there was a guy in my theater that was snoring really loud, okay? This was so boring. I, I was on my phone through most of it because I just couldn't give it my complete undivided attention. I couldn't. I was so bored. I haven't been this bored watching a movie since I watched Chariots of Fire. It's so boring. And I didn't care as much. And it wouldn't have been as boring. It wouldn't have been as boring if I could follow it. But I didn't follow it, because I don't know what it's about. And I don't care what it's about, because it's bad, okay? It's gross. It's not gross in a way where it complements a good story. No, it's it's just gross for the sake of being gross. It's like, so like people don't like feel pain, right? So like there's this scene where this girl is like cutting at this girl's foot, right? And you can hear like the blade going against the bone and they're both like moaning like really sexually because I guess that's a turn on I don't know and like there's <laughs> there's this scene where like so Vigo Mortensen has like this zipper on his belly where he can unzip his belly and then Leah say doll I assume that's how you say she like gets her tongue all up in there and then he's like uh, and I'm like bruh like I, I was sitting there like looking at this dude like a few seats next to me and I'm, I'm thinking like bruh are you seeing this? And he was seeing this. He was sitting there like, like nervously laughing at it. I, I, it's just, and the movie's very weird. Like there's a scene where like a kid eats a, like a plastic garbage bin. And there's a reason for it. I just didn't care why. And this movie pay, builds to nothing. It builds to absolutely nothing. There is no payoff in this movie. None. There's no payoff to this. It just sucks. I mean, my God, this movie sucks. Oh, no. This movie was disgusting. It was boring. It was tedious. It was one of the worst movie experiences I've ever had. I hate this movie with every ounce of my being. And I am going to give... Crimes of the future, which by the way, this is a crime of the present, just saying. I'm going to give it a 20 out of 100. And the only reason I'm not going lower is because a movie that I would go lower with is a movie that I feel is just like straight up incompetent. Like Cats in the Room, you know what I mean? And the ABCs of Death, where there's just like, it, there's just nothing good about those movies. Nothing. They're incompetent. They're poorly made. They're they're just like the ABCs of death. Okay, that maybe the ABCs of death wasn't incompetent. It was just there was nothing good about it. Nothing. There's a there's a, from a technical aspect, this is a very good movie. But from literally everything else, this movie's garbage. I hated it. I will never watch this again. Ever. 
So I watched it so you don't have to. So there you go. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this. Uh, tomorrow, I'm reviewing Top Gun. Uh, Top Gun 1. I've already reviewed Top Gun Maverick. Check out my review for that. Go see that movie. If you've already seen it, go see it again. Go support that movie. Give it your money. Go see Men. Men was better than this. I, I actually kind of liked Men. It, it, you know, it was all right. Um, go see Men other than this. Just no with this. No. No. God, no. Okay. Yeah. So Top Gun's coming back, so... Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Pi Party Table for more. Hit the like button. Leave me reviews and suggestions down in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Pi Party Entertainment for channel updates and other interactive stuff with your boy. I'm on Instagram every single day, even if I'm not uploading on YouTube. So follow me on Instagram so you can connect with me better. And follow me on TikTok because I do like out of the theater reactions. I did one for this. So go follow me on TikTok. And that's about it. Uh, yeah, this, this was truly awful. Truly, truly awful. Mm. All right, well, I'm going to go play Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga now because I could have been doing that instead of watching this movie. So, yeah. Much love.